Space is big, really big. When we gaze up at the night sky we often don't grasp the sheer scale of what we're looking at. It's easy to feel small and insignificant against the backdrop of the cosmos. But understanding the vastness of the universe can be an awe-inspiring and humbling experience. It's a journey that takes us from the familiar comfort of our planet to the very edge of what we can observe. Our journey begins right here, on planet Earth. This pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan famously called it, is our home, it's where we live, love, and dream. But in the grand scheme of things, Earth is just a tiny speck of dust orbiting an average star. To truly appreciate the universe's size, we need to zoom out further and further until we reach the very limits of our understanding. Let's embark on this cosmic adventure and explore the vastness that surrounds us. Our planet, with its bustling cities, vast oceans, and towering mountains, might seem enormous to us. It takes about 24 hours to fly around the Earth at the speed of a commercial jet. And driving across the entire United States from coast to coast can take days, even at highway speeds. But compared to the vastness of space, Earth is incredibly small. Its diameter is a mere 12,742 kilometers, or 7,917 miles. That's less than the distance you'd cover if you drove across the entire United States just three times. Our closest celestial neighbor, the Moon, is about 384,400 kilometers or 238,855 miles away. That's like traveling the Earth's circumference about 30 times, and that's just a tiny step on our cosmic journey. Beyond the Moon lies the rest of our solar system. Our Sun, a giant ball of burning gas, sits at the center. Orbiting the Sun are eight planets, including our own, along with countless asteroids, comets, and dwarf planets. The distances between these celestial objects are mind-boggling. To make it more relatable, let's imagine shrinking our solar system down to a more manageable size. If we imagine the Sun as a grapefruit, Earth would be about the size of a pinhead orbiting it from about 15 meters or 50 feet away. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, would be like a marble orbiting from about 78 meters or 256 feet away. And Pluto, once considered the ninth planet, would be a tiny speck of dust over half a kilometer or a third of a mile away from our grapefruit sun. Our sun might seem huge and powerful but it's actually quite average compared to some of the stellar giants lurking in the vastness of space. One such giant is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion. If we place Betelgeuse in the center of our solar system it would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. That means it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even the asteroid belt. Its sheer size is almost impossible to comprehend. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life and is expected to explode in a spectacular supernova sometime in the next 100,000 years. When it does, it will be visible from Earth even during the daytime, shining brighter than a full moon for weeks or even months, or even... Section 5, Vi Canis Majoris, the immensity of a hypergiant. But even Betelgeuse pales in comparison to Vy Canis Majoris, one of the largest known stars in the universe. This red hypergiant star is located about 3,900 light years away in the constellation Canis Major. Vy Canis Majoris is so large that if it were placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Saturn. That means it would swallow up Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and even Saturn. To put its size into perspective, if you were to fly a commercial jet around the circumference of Vi Canis Majoris, it would take you over 900 years to complete one trip. That's longer than the entire history of the United States. Section 6, The Milky Way, Our Galactic Home Our sun and all the stars we see in the night sky are just a tiny fraction of the stars that make up our galaxy, the Milky Way. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, a massive collection of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter held together by gravity. It's estimated to contain hundreds of billions of stars, many of which are much larger and brighter than our own sun. If we could shrink the Milky Way down to the size of the United States, our solar system would be about the size of a grain of sand. And even though light travels at an incredible speed of 299 million, 792,458 meters per second it still takes about 100,000 years for light to travel from one side of the Milky Way to the other. That means that when we look at distant stars in our own galaxy, we're actually seeing them as they were thousands of years ago. Section 7 Andromeda and the Realm of Galaxies But the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies that populate the observable universe. 
Our closest galactic neighbor is the Andromeda Galaxy, a massive spiral galaxy located about 2.5 million light years away. Andromeda is even larger than the Milky Way, with an estimated 1 trillion stars. It's currently on a collision course with our galaxy, but don't worry, the collision won't happen for another 4 billion years. The vast distances between galaxies are measured in millions or even billions of light years. A single light year is the distance that light travels in one year, which is about 9.46 trillion kilometers, or 5.88 trillion miles. Section 8, The Observable Universe, A Glimpse Into Infinity As we venture further out into the cosmos, we reach the limits of what we can observe. The observable universe is a sphere with a radius of about 46.5 billion light years. This represents the portion of the universe from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. Within this vast expanse, there are estimated to be trillions of galaxies, each containing billions or even trillions of stars. And around many of these stars there are likely planets some of which might even harbor life. But here's the mind-blowing part, the observable universe is likely just a tiny fraction of the entire universe. We don't know how much more is out there beyond what we can see but it could be infinite. Section 9, Our Place in the Grand Cosmos. As we contemplate the sheer immensity of the universe, it's easy to feel small and insignificant, but it's also an opportunity to appreciate our place in the grand scheme of things. We are a part of this vast and awe-inspiring cosmos, connected to every other star and galaxy by the fabric of space-time. The universe is still full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. By studying the cosmos, we gain a deeper understanding of our own existence and the forces that govern the universe, so next time you look up at the night sky, remember that you are looking at a universe teeming with possibilities, a universe that continues to inspire wonder and awe in all who dare to explore it.